This is Anthony Smoke. And before this video starts, uh, I just want to mention that this is not the complete build out of this dashboard. Go ahead and watch the first video for free. It's out there on my channel. This is part two and it is a snippet. So I would ask that you consider becoming a member in order to view the entire video in its entirety. It takes a lot of work to do step-by-step -step, uh, tutorials, research, and editing. Um, it just takes a lot of work. It's 1.30 a.m. on a Sunday night, and I am recording this, so please consider supporting the channel. You'll get a lot of value out of this video. Again, this is a preview. Members will get the full video. Thank you so much for supporting my channel over the years. Okay, here we are. Let's take a look at this dashboard. And if you recall, again, go back and watch the first video here so you know how to build out all of these components. And I'll say it again, uh, this design is by Dmitry Shirikov. I did not design the dashboard. I reversed engineered it. <laughs> um, and then I know Marilo Cremone uh, had some elements as well with respect to this, uh, the dashboards, the little dots uh, underneath here. So check out both Dmitry Shirikov and Marilo Cremone on Tableau Public. Shout out to both of them. So we are going to do the dashboard layout here in the second part of this video. Let's get started. Okay, here we are, we've got a blank dashboard. And before we get into this, I know I mentioned my data boosters. Uh, as of the recording of this video, I wanna shout out Garrett Oaks. You're getting a shout out for being a data booster. I appreciate you supporting the channel. You're getting your data booster shout out. Thank you, Garrett. Okay, so what I wanna do here, I wanna make sure that my custom size is 1280 by 800, okay? So you're gonna go in here, custom, make sure you're 1280 by 800. Well, again, that's a size that works for me. You may need to adjust it for your purposes, but that's what I'm using, 1280 by 800. That's, this whole example is based upon this size. So 1280 by 800. And so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take a vertical uh, container. I'm gonna hold down shift. Well, I can make it floating here, let's do this. Let's take the vertical container, make sure you're floating and let's drag it out here. And so this technique, this is a technique put forth by Curtis Harris, who's had one of the best um, videos on Tableau layouts that I've uh, ever watched here. So I want you to look up things I know about Tableau layout containers by Curtis Harris. And you can find that uh, on YouTube as of the recording of this video. So you'll understand why I'm using this floating technique. Okay, so we're going to make this, let's go over here to layout, and I want this to be in position one, one, right? And then this is going to be the size of our dashboard. So 1280 by 800. That's gonna fill up the, uh, the whole space there, right? You really gotta, we need more cowbell. You gotta fill up the whole space if you know what I'm talking about, SNL skit. Um, let's go ahead and rename this to main vertical right so let's go ahead and i know i can rename this there we go let's call this main vertical this is going to hold all of our layout containers i wish layout layouts were a little easier to do in tableau but we are where we are gonna say uh, okay here let's go ahead and drag four horizontals into our main vertical so i'm gonna Put this horizontal in here. I'm on floating. I can hit shift and drop it in here. Uh, I'm going to drag a, I'm going to hold down shift. I'm holding down shift now. Uh, I'm going to drag another horizontal and let's try and get it in there. You can see there. So once you have two objects in here, it's a lot easier to see where to drag things. So let's take our next horizontal. I'm holding down shift and then that goes there. And then finally the last one, again, it's, it's floating, but I'm holding down shift in order to drop it in here. I suppose I could change it to tiled, but you see we have four different horizontals on the item hierarchy. You can see that main vertical and all the horizontal containers, nice and easy and neat. 
Okay, in this top horizontal container, I'm gonna place four things. I'm going to place an image. So let's go ahead and find image and let's throw that in here. I'm holding down shift to get that in there. And then I'm gonna insert an image file. Oops, go ahead and choose. And I have this smoke store. Going to say, oh, let's fit and center. And I'm gonna say, okay, right? The smoke store is in there. And then next up, we're gonna put some text. So let's go ahead, I'm holding down shift. And you can see right here, I wanna make sure that this gray is highlighted. Let's go ahead. And I'm too lazy to format. We're going to do all of this good stuff right here. And you'll see I've got, and I should probably, no, that works. So you're gonna do performance overview, uh, comparison, and then this is the year selected parameter, right? So I could say parameter year selected here. You're gonna do that. And verse previous year, if you wanna know the exact fonts, the Tableau Bold 12, um, this is a Tableau Medium, that's Tableau Bold, that's a Tableau Medium, right? If you wanna know the colors, it's the last uh, uh, black here, the lightest black. So we have that in here, and if I say okay, uh, performance overview, comparison 2024 versus uh, previous year. That is what I want to see. And blank, so your year may be different depending upon what uh, year selected you have from the, from the previous video. But for now, we're good. Let's go ahead and place a blank in here. And we will, yeah, let's go ahead and hold down shift and we get that blank right? See how everything is fitting into that top horizontal. And then I want a YouTube logo in here, right? So you're going to do this too, since you're using my technique, uh, you know, my instructions. So go ahead and let's go ahead and find image again and put that in the top corner. And let's go ahead and insert an image file. I'm going to choose. I've got a YouTube logo. You can find a YouTube logo, find one. And then the URL that you're gonna put in here. Um, I don't expect you to uh, to type this, but you know where my first video is. I'll put it in the uh, I'll put it in the uh, description. So just go ahead and grab that link and put it in here. So if I say okay, right, I've got this <laughs> big YouTube logo, and if I click on it, right, it's going to bring up. It's gonna bring up this which we all remember, right? So let's go back uh, here. And this is Anthony Smoke, that's me, and the Create a Stunning Advanced Dashboard in Tableau. So anyway, so that works, we're gonna do that. All right, so now we need to get the height uh, in a good place. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go select the container. I need to select the horizontal container. I need to select the whole container. And let's go ahead and edit height. And that height's going to be 60. Let's make it 60. There we go. So now that's nice and scrunched up up there. And then now we're going to start filling in these other layout containers. Okay, so now we're in our second horizontal. What I want to drag into our second horizontal, I'm going to drag some text. Again, I'm holding down, uh, I'm dragging this out here and I'm holding down shift to place it in here. And then I'm just going to paste this. I already have this built out because I'm not going to uh, retype all of this. But if you want to see, these are, you can find out, uh, this is an alt code. So just Google alt codes and find something that looks like a block and then find something that looks like a very skinny block <laughs> and paste it in here and give it the colors from the original uh, dashboard that we reviewed. So I'm just going to leave that up here so you can see, you can see the sizes here is Tableau Book 8. And I'm gonna say okay, and we should have that text in our second horizontal. Okay, so now I'm gonna drag another text. Again, holding down uh, Shift now so I could get it in here. You really gotta make sure you place these in here correctly. And then this is just going to be year, right? And so we'll make the uh, year Let's go ahead and make this Tableau bold. If I can find it, there we go, Tableau bold. Let's go ahead and uh, justify it over there. We'll do, uh, we'll make it 10, make that pop. And then we'll also make this, this should be selected. Yeah, let's make this the lightest black here. And we'll see, okay, so we have that year uh, over here. And then in the next, 
So we're going to have a parameter. We're going to put our parameter in here eventually. But for now, for now, let's go ahead and put a a um, a blank. So I'm going to dra drag the uh, blank over here. And let's go over here to the side. You can see we've got that year. We're going to have our parameter for um, uh, selected year in here eventually. But for now, let's just go ahead and put a blank. And then finally, we're going to go to our buttons. We created this, right, previously. We're going to take buttons and we're going to put that uh, in here. And you end up with all of this. Yeah, I, I know it's a it's a pain in the butt right now. Um, you know, let's go ahead and hide this title. And it, it makes everything small. But that's all right. We're going to uh, account for that. We're going to change our height to 50 pixels. So let's go ahead and select the whole container. And it's very small. I get it. But let's go ahead and edit the height. And we're going to make that 50 pixels. And it should, there we go. It should smooth out there uh, a little bit. And let's go ahead. We have all of this. I hate how it brings all of this in in uh, Tableau. But we're going to bring in another. Let's go to the layout. And we will bring in, whoops. Sorry. I want another horizontal. There we go. I want another horizontal here. And let's put that right in the middle. And we're going to get rid of this uh, horizontal. Go ahead and select it. And then let's go ahead and remove from the dashboard. Yes, it's okay. And so now we're back to our four uh, horizontals. Let's go ahead and some, uh, edit some widths here. So let's go ahead and do, let's edit the width here. And I want this to be, let's go 399, give it some space here. There we go. That looks a little better. Uh, let's make our year, uh, let's make this 252, give it a little bit more space. Let's uh, edit this uh, width right here to 101. Tighten that up a little bit, right? And then this should fill out the rest. This should be, is it 528? Yep, 528. So there we go. So now we've got our first two rows looking good with the correct widths. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this preview of how to lay out all of the chart elements in this advanced dashboard. And please consider becoming a member at the appropriate level in order to view this video in its entirety. It takes a lot of work to uh, bring all of this home. As you saw in the free part one uh, video where we built out all the chart elements. So again, thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for rocking with me uh, all these years. I really appreciate it. As always, get out there and do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching everyone.